Yes, now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Growing Pains podcast. Today, you're joined by Fizzle K and me and no one else, yep. but there was supposed to be two other people. Yeah, the first opportunity at being guests. I know, right? They didn't turn up. Does that say a lot about us? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we've had couples that just air our messages as well about coming on the pod mm, i i think it's a good pod come on man let's talk it's, about your relationship nothing goes wrong here. nothing goes wrong it's man open let's space. Not, let's just have fun man look we are open books we aren't normal people yeah. let's just pull the curtain come down come, come on, on guys the pod, man. let's see it uh keep your phone open just in case i don't think they're coming okay right yeah well today was meant to be a guest cast uh and that's unfortunately not happening. So you have just Fizzle K and Ethan Bazinga, which I know you guys are absolutely in adoration of. You yeah. love us so much. That's why they're here. Exactly. Yeah. Boom. Um, so how was your week? I mean, it's Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Monday went well. <laughs> yeah. Monday was good. Monday was all right. Um, Monday's all right. On Tuesday I slant. Wednesday I work late. <laughs> What's this? I should really like that song. I don't know what song it is. Stormzy and Ray. Come me. Come me what? Come me what? Call me. I don't know. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a good song. Listen to the song. All right. I will. Yeah. Um, I I am. I'm, I think I've got really serious health issues. So I, after you having serious health issues, I now think I've got serious health issues. Mm -hmm. But you don't like to listen to my serious health uh, issues. Uh, uh, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> I think Ethan has anxiety. Yes. And I suffer with anxiety <laughs> lots. And I tell Ethan, I say, I'll just go out of the bath or something. Ethan will be like, why are you laying on the bed? And I'll be like, Ethan, I think I'm dying. And he'll be like, why? And I was like, I've got bad anxiety. And he goes... Over what? And I'm like, I don't know. It's just something you get. So I don't get it. And then you go, oh, right then. And then go and sit downstairs. Now, Ethan has got his taste of I don't anxiety. think that's what it is. No, but you don't think you have it. You just feel like you're going to die. You but how like, do you know you have it then? Because my dad told me that's what it is. Because my dad said he used to get it when he was really young. <laughs> All right, but, but so I don't think I it's that because it feels, it feels medical. Yeah, it hurts. My body. Like going to die. And, yeah. and then you was looking for some sort of reassurance or come give me a cuddle. What do I get? Oh, all right then. Well, I don't and understand it. And then I have to it. ride it out. Yeah, I don't understand on it. On my own. But I feel like death. Yeah, you feel like you're going to die. Yeah. That's the whole thing. But hey. Shit. Uh, you know what helps me when I feel like I'm going to die? What? Drinking water. And drinking water with Air Up. No. Did you know that Air Up have three brand new nostalgic flavours? Ah. They're very cool, right? Yeah. What are they? Tell me. Nostalgic vibes of bubble gum, blue raspberry, and chocolate orange. Can't go wrong. So it's only right to take a trip down memory lane because I'll tell you what, I used to love chocolate orange growing really? up. Really? Oh, you either love it or you hate it. Oh, I love chocolate orange. Oh. So we're going to have a little bit of a Mr. and Mrs. Nostalgic quiz. Nice. Are you ready to play? I am. All right, let's do that. All right, the point of this game is to see how much we know about each other's upbringings. Mm -hmm. How much have we delved into it and spoken about it? We've probably spoken about it, but remembered it. Possibly yeah, not. my little Dory. Yeah. All right. So we've got six questions, three each. What's going to happen is, you're, I'm going to ask you the question. Sure. I'm going to write my answer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show the audience. And then I'm going to go three, two, one. And then you have to have the same answer as me to get question right. Perfect. Boom. Easy peasy. All right. So question one. What was my favorite childhood TV program? This is good. You've never told me. Uh, I, I think you'll find... I have. Is it really obvious? Oh, absolutely. Can you tell me, give me a hint if it's like more kid kid side or if it's older. Childhood TV programme. Well, I don't know. Some people were allowed to watch adult stuff as kids. Oh, I'm just going to put mine. <laughs> You're just putting yours? Yeah. Right. Just because it was a boy show, really. Can guarantee you've never told me this. Right. Bloody hell, it's a long answer. What are you doing, writing it? Yeah. I'm just the film. Getting a little bit creative over here. Sorry, guys. All right, cool. Ready? Yep. I'm going to show the audience. Oh, you can see. I didn't see it. <laughs> I forgot. We... She can't change her answer, but we have screens. I see it begins with an S. Yeah, yeah. All right. Redo. My answer is three, two, one. What did you put? Ninja Turtles. So, no. Wow. It's SpongeBob. You've never told me that. Bro, I've seen every fucking episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. That's cool. I love SpongeBob SquarePants. You've never mentioned that. When ever. have I ever mentioned Ninja Turtles? I used to wake up early to work, watch Ninja Turtles. Did you? Yeah. 
That's to be fair, we have got a bit of an age gap, to be fair. So they might not have been hip and cool when you was in secondary no, school. SpongeBob was while I was still in primary school. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. Right, Bezzy boy. Your question. What was my childhood nickname? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't write something horrible <laughs> not what they called me behind my back <laughs> the stuff that I'd know about <laughs> I've, I've slashed I've got two two? <laughs> yeah barely remembered one alright you show everybody your answer yeah? yeah alright three two one boom fuck show me <laughs> what'd you put? uh Cat in the Hat slash Whoville. That's not a nickname though, really, is it? That was just pure bullying. Again, that's something they'd say behind my back. Do you know, I've never ever had any bullying around my nose ever really? in school, ever. Only online was it pointed out to me that it's actually a problem. It's not a problem though. But I feel like when you're in school, that's a prime time to actually get bullied if yeah, something's yeah, an yeah. issue. But it's not a problem. Your your nose is what people actually You've just wrote Cat in the Hat and Whoville. Yeah, why is that funny. then? Because it's funny. Yeah, but why is that though? What was the what's the little girl called in uh, Cindy Lou? Cindy Lou, that's the one I, w I was trying to remember. Cindy Lou. By the way, only one person gave me a nickname, and he'd only ever called me Faff in school. Other than that, I didn't have a nickname. Everyone used my actual name. Really? I'm not really a nicknameable person until Fizzle K. Oh, that's delicious. Right. Question three: What was the first music concert I went to? I feel like I'm more of a concert person than you. Okay. I'm so bad at these okay, games. Buddy, back in my day, uh, I was out here going to concerts. <laughs> How old was you? Give me a hint. Because uh, you like different music. It's going to be some like drum and bass thing. Uh, it is. I don't know how old I was. I don't know how old I was, but I was... I was friends with the boys. So it's that gonna be must be like... Rapping. Must be like 2013 e 2013 Is it 14. a festival? You got answer, bro. But that's not concert. So can you define? Well, if a place that plays live music is a fucking concert. No, it's not. Well, it is. If you're going to see Harry Styles, that's a concert. If you're going, um, love the switch up of capitals and to lowercase here, Faith. Right. I am going to reveal my answer to the public. Don't look. I'm not. I'm not. I'm looking at you. Three, two, one, boom! You actually got it right. Yeah. Ah, the applause. Wireless was a, a full vibe. Yeah, it's the only one I've ever heard you speak about. I used to really enjoy wireless. Yeah. Um, but, and then straight after that, I think it was, I could have got it wrong, but then all the boys went to Eminem uh, at I'm Wembley. I'm in Eminem, I we went with my nan. Yeah, and we was in like the bit and everyone was throwing piss at each other. Brilliant. That was lovely. Yeah. yeah really nice. What did I want to be when I grew up? When I was a little girl. A what little girl. was my girl. dreams? Well, there's like a very obvious answer that I could put. Go on in. But I feel like you're going to be, you're going to do something different. Don't mind stripper. Try to be different. I'm not going to put that. All right then. What did I want to be when I grow up? Nothing. <laughs> no, honestly, I went through that. <laughs> I, I think really... even now you still go through that. Yeah, I right. am. Uh, I'm going to go. I just want to exist peacefully. Right. In 10 years, you'll find me out there like licking the pavement, being one with earth or something. Right. I've, I've written something. I think it's just a dead, so that's sure. Go, uh, go on, you reveal. I've actually spoke about this and it should be quite obvious. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, I'm wrong then. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. I put a horse rider. No, it's a hobby. Police though, woman. It? I literally went police cadets. Oh, you did. And I, and I know the whole phonetic alphabet. Yeah, go and on. Hit, hit us with it. Um, well, you have to say the letters. I'm still a. dyslexic. Alpha. B. Bravo. C. Charlie. D. Delta. E. Echo. F. A, B, C, D, E. <laughs> yeah, E, F, F. Foxtrot. G. G, G, G. Golf. Yeah. H. Hotel. I. Indigo. H, I, J. <laughs> Juliet. K. <laughs> Something like... I just don't know. I forgot that one. I think that was pretty good running, though. Yeah, sure, mate. Well done. All right. Uh, question five. Yep. What was the name of my first pet? You don't have none. I'm your first pet. 
I gave you your first pet. <laughs> no, your place. <laughs> I'm talking about dog, by the way, not a child. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, this is poor from you. You ain't had no pets. Yeah, yes, I have. No, I think you're not had any important ones. You've had a fish. Whoa, brother, that's crazy. You've had fish. That's crazy. You had a cat. You don't like cats. You've never spoken about this said cat, by the way. All right. What was the name of my first pet? You've put cat. Yes. Uh, all right. Three, two, one. It was Henry the cat. Well, I think I deserve half a point. N- no, you don't get a point for cat. Sorry. Yeah, but you call our dog. You never call him his name. Call him the big ginger fuck. So what was Henry oh, was actually called? Henry. <laughs> Henry, man. Henry was a goat. Henry was... You don't like cats. No, I don't. I grew up with them because my mum loves cats. Yeah, exactly. So you probably didn't even respect this cat. It's not. My, it was our family cat. Did you love I, it? I liked it. Henry was a good cat. Good you cat. You loved him? Yeah. And then, yeah, I did actually because I cried when he... Yeah, he he had to go and be put down. I probably cried. <laughs> it was really sad. <laughs> it was really sad. Uh, and then I think that helped me develop sort of a hard exterior to pets because then the next one I just couldn't get on with. And not like, even now, yeah, I just don't really like like Hades. Yeah, bitch, and fuck, man. Rolo's all right, but cat break heart. Yeah, it's just too locked. Pets is it's what I said to you. Faith doesn't like it, and I say you got a whole world of hurt coming your way, man. You've lined yourself like seven yeah, horrible periods him a of good time. Life. Yeah, but then you've now lined up seven periods of pain. Yeah, well. Peak. All right. Part and parcel of animals. What age did I have my first kiss? Wow. And it's just kiss, no rude stuff. <laughs> what, what, like tongues? Yeah, like your clothes are still on. It's nothing dirty. Just or... a little kissy. Just a little kissy a little whissy. Kiss. Brother, sorry if you've offended me. Has he rubbed out his answer? <laughs> no, I'm fucking... I'm just way more creative than you, bro. All right, go on, show everyone the world. I've not looked. All right, ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. I put 13. No. Oh, I thought you would have shared like a peck at, at no. the start of secondary school or so. No. All right. What's the answer then? 15. Oh, close. I was in year nine. I should get half a point. I think that was 15. I should get half a point then. It was like year nine, almost year 10. Oh, that's crazy. Because I didn't know how to kiss boy. And I actually remember it very vividly. I was very shy. I remember. You don't know how to kiss. I remember. If you doing I remember. Tongues and that, I didn't watch Paul. You weren't doing tongues. No, but if you weren't doing tongues and that, then you, it's just. No, I can tell you. See, listen, right? I remember who it was. I remember where it was. And I remember the whole experience because it was not brilliant. Because I said, <laughs> I physically said the words, I don't know how to kiss. You said that. Yeah. And, he, and then he just went, just open your mouth. And then. Oh, so you did do the rude bits? No. Tongue's he... rude bits. No, it's not. Tongue's rude. Tongue no. Is rude. A kiss is. A, that's a snog. A kiss is just a. That, you snog. Oh, I think I skipped that part then. You snogged. You went straight into snogging. A kiss is for your family. That's... Snogging's for the boys. You've been snogging boys. Anyone. You snog the boy. I open your mouth. Boy. Yeah, he said choke. <laughs> That's fucking grim, mate. Open your mouth. Ah. <laughs> yes. Wow. Well, that was the uh, nostalgic Mr. and Mrs. quiz. You actually were the only one to get... Oh, I draw myself. You are actually the only one to get one right. Was that? Yeah, wireless festival. Well done. Jeez. Big thank you to AirUp for sponsoring this episode. Remember, tap the link in the description to get... 10% off using the code PAINS. That's excluding current offers. This is valid from the 28th of March to the 4th of April. So we've just been informed that our guests have... Yeah, they they're arriving the day. tomorrow. Yeah, they're coming tomorrow. Yeah, which would have been awfully bad Yeah, because um, we won't be here tomorrow. No. Because <laughs> it was today. <laughs> it's so we- at least we didn't technically get stood up because their intent is yeah, to come tomorrow. To but no. that also means we don't actually have a set talk list. No. To the viewers' discretion, we have a, we get like a we have, the, we have a producer that encourages some topics of conversation yeah, or like things to do. So, yeah, so we're just going to take it away and go raw dog this episode with whatever yeah, we want to talk about. Bear back in this. What ep. could go wrong? This ep is Buckle getting up, it's buddy. Back blown out. Yeah, raw. I mean, all I can think about is tomorrow we get a new dog. Yeah, face been counting mentioning. down the fucking. Uh, you will talk about this actually, and because I don't think your parents watch this. Uh, the dog, the dog for faith, but dog has. Do, I can't get my head's to fucking scramble. Uh, the dog is for faith and her protection. Yes. Uh, it is to keep her safe. Yes. It is to make her life a lot easier when I'm not around. It's to give you comfort. Yes. It's to it make is. you feel at home 
and happy. Yeah. So essentially, I have bad anxiety, and now Ethan has a taste of what. Well, last feels night like was bad as well. By the way, <laughs> we get a fucking text from our next door neighbour going, "I think the bottom of your field's on fire." Yeah. Faith comes down. I've I've just literally just fallen asleep on the sofa. By the way, I, I say as a man, there's no better pleasure than nodding off on the sofa. I fucking love it. I don't know what it is, but it just feels so much more restorative. Right. It feels so nice. And my eyes are just gone. Faith went. The next door neighbours are just texting saying the field's on fire. You've got to go. Yeah, I'm not going. And what did I do first? Lock the doors. Yeah, so Faith went, I'm not going. You're going to have to go. I went and got your hammer. I went. I got, I got my jacket on and she went, well, do you want a weapon? And I was like, well, I suppose so. I better take one just in case. So We, we were possibly getting arsed. I leave the back door to come and check this blaze <laughs> and Faith locked me out. <laughs> So I could have been getting attacked. It could have been a risk. If you're getting attacked, you should maybe just gonna have to hold that L. I can't come I'm getting out. Getting attacked and being put on fire. I've gone down there. One man up. One man just there <laughs> on this fucking You've got a blaze mission. Someone's come and set my house on fire with this. And by the way, it weren't like a hammer is in like this big. It was a hammer it's like this. <laughs> the big. DIY hammer for a woman. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's so I don't know what damage I was doing. So I go and I'm like, right, okay, yeah, cool, it's on. To be fair, I probably should have just given you my keys. And then. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Faith's got this new weapon now. I've got weapons everywhere. That's really heavy, that green ball. So watch out, everyone. Don't fuck uh, me. But yeah, so I go down there on this one man step. I put the torch on and then I find out it's just next door having like a a yard fire. Yeah. He's got like an outside. I assume he's just burning like material. He was. Like. But then I had to text him. Yeah. It become like a little bit of a chain down the yeah. houses. I was like, so sorry. Did you know there's a fire in your garden? I was like, you probably do. Yeah. Like you're a builder's yard. You probably know it's going yeah. down. He said, don't worry, it's all under control. Yeah. He said, we've got a house unless you hear the dogs barking. Yeah. Probably know about so it. So I come back in, Faith goes, oh, well, well done for being brave, you know. Wow, that was really good. Yeah. You locked me out. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking locked me out. <laughs> yeah, but listen, if people did want smoke, you're just going to have to hold it because at the end of the day, they're just going to go through you and then come to me anyway. There's no point. Listen, the baby's upstairs. One of us has to stay alive. Yeah, I know that. It's just, don't lock me out. And, and I kept the dogs as well. Yeah, you did, yeah. So I've gone down there with my little torch going, hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, yeah, luckily enough. About wherever yeah. you are. I've got All was okay. Anyway, this dog, uh, Faith has made me profess to her family. Made? Uh, uh, this is my dad's idea. Yeah, okay, it was your dad's idea. Yeah, they professed to their family that I really want this dog. Which you did. You do did want a German Shepherd, and you said if you wanted to buy a dog from anywhere, it would be from this company. Yeah, you did say I that. I know people that have one from yeah. this company. So yeah, a place that I know has reputable value. Yeah, yeah. So we've gone ahead with it anyway. Uh, but yes, I am now being made <laughs> to really make sure that. <laughs> what your mum knows that it's it's my dog and I've always dreamt of it and I did this because I want it which because isn't <laughs> the thing is when I buy animals oh faith not again you buy too many blah 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 you do but then if Aoife wants to buy animals oh great enjoy yeah, that because I am not fun. I'm not her son so she can't <laughs> yeah but I'm a grown woman you are a grown woman. I have land. But you are also I have money. her daughter. I can get animals. Yeah, but I'm not bringing them around oh, to her house. You, you can get, you pay for this one then? No. Nope. What? She's, she's more than the horse you got me. Yeah. That's. She's an expensive dog. That's, anyway, this dog is like the fucking dog's bollocks. Yeah. Quite literally dog's bollocks. Uh, really, yeah, just don't come near the house is my. Honestly, just advice. she'll fuck your whole day up. Don't yeah. do it. Um, so that's, that's really positive. But Faith this whole week has been like, Oh my God, like 12 more sleeps until the dog comes. Well, when they said the 27th, I was like, oh my God, that's so far away. It's like two weeks. Every day has felt so slow. Yeah. But I hope she fits in yeah. like, and takes it gently. Yeah. Because she is like two and a half, isn't she? She's been at... She's two. Yeah. yeah. Been at the old house all her life. So I hope she adjusts well. Very nice dog though. She's already come down to the house and, and sort of slot in pretty much seamlessly, which is quite cute. Mm. Um, and yeah, well, that's, that's this week's fun. Yeah. Wow. We'll just be dog sitting. Uh, it's our anniversary coming up. Ah, yes, it is that. Saturday. So Ethan is doing a whole day. Yeah. Which you've never done before. I have. I took you to Folkestone. That was like two days. Yeah, but I knew about that. Yeah, so. But that, that, You're not uh, telling me two what days. we're doing. And I'm it's not, really no. stressful as a woman. He just said, we're going out on Saturday. Yeah. Morning and evening. Or like afternoon and evening, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wear what you want. As a woman, as a woman, what do you mean wear what you want? Wear whatever you want to feel no. comfortable with it. No, 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 no. 
That's not how it works. Where what you if feel I know we have a country park date coming up, I will literally buy a set outfit for that. You're That's just mental. telling me to pick something from my wardrobe. Do you know how obscene that is? You've got loads of clothes. Brilliant. I'll just reuse and recycle then. That's not yeah. how it works. No, we've got right. a whole new event, date, not an event. <laughs> whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm completely... I, just... I might wear flip-flops and you're taking me to a pig farm. Do you see how unsuitable this theory is? <laughs> feel, feel comfortable, look nice is what I said. Well, I'll just wear a baggy tracksuit with my hair in a bun then. But you know that I've already told you we're going for dinner. We're going for a really oh, nice right, dinner see, as well. Look, now the story's changed enough. I, I told going, you that already. I thought we was going back home in between. Yeah. No, no. We're not? No. So we're staying out all day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Olive's coming? Yeah. All day? Yeah, because we're leaving her at your parents. I've already saw it all. So she's not coming with us then? She's not coming to dinner with us, no. This is what I mean. But she's so coming to the afternoon back, party with us. So we're bouncing back in the mo- afternoon so what to drop the child. Li- we are, no, we are living. Oh my God, then how is she getting to my mum? Is she getting a cab? No. D- silly. Listen up. <laughs> yeah, Okay. <laughs> Morning, relax. Wow, anniversary. We're chilling at home. Whatever. Let Olive play for a bit. Go outside. Embrace the lovely air. She goes down for a nap at like midday. Yeah. She sleeps for like an hour and a half, two hours. We'll, we then get in the car and head to take her to drop her off. Yep. Then we're getting busy. Sure. Yeah. So we're going out in the morning. No. Where has she just heard that? Well, you said enjoy the air. I don't get how it's yeah, two parts. Yeah, go in the garden. Play with the stones. <laughs> Do something. So she's not coming with us then. Oh, my fucking God. She's going to my mum's. Are we going to my mum's? Is the date at my mum's house? Yeah, yes, yes. Back in the shed. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah. 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 But why can't you just tell me, man? Because you're not allowed to know, bro. It's, oh, it's just let so, me all got so confusing. Up. Have you asked my parents as well? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. For like your last and last minute. No, I didn't. And then I'll get told off. No, it's it's fine. All right then. Trust me. All right then. Trust me. What shoes do I need? What about these? Ethan hates these. Ugh, no, I don't hate them. You I do. just think that like they're Prada. Well, this is the issue, right? What do you think? So they're Prada, <laughs> and they could have come from fucking M and S. Do you know what's <laughs> so shit about them? M and S would be better quality. Yeah. Like every time I take my foot out, don't hate me because I'm not wearing socks. People actually know I'm not wearing socks at this point. Yeah. Um. The sole of the shoe, they've not even bothered to glue the insole down into the shoe. Every time you take your shoe off, the insole comes out. Yeah, it's just like it's a it, shit and it, like, who, Alibaba who goes shoe. For, who goes for a navy cream Prada crepe like that? I wear, well, I only ever wear Uggs, don't I? So I like a slip I prefer shoe. the Uggs. Yeah, same, but it's getting warmer. They've got loads of fur in. These aren't cool. <laughs> I'm not trying you to said be cool. You, you said you tried to up your shoe game and you... I did up it. I, you can only wear a shoe like this if it's got a respectable name in it. But I will say they They're could horror. have glued it down. I don't care. Guess what? I'm comfy. You, you, you've just slagged them off. Yeah, they could have glued it down. <laughs> you said yeah. it's a shit early barber shoe just then. It is a shit early barber shoe. <laughs> well then, so you, just, you can't now say yeah. I'd actually probably order a better replica on early barber. Yeah, well, they are horror. Uh, Faith bought like six pairs of shoes. Uh two slip-on pumps that are like for fucking if you're in a care home <laughs> these it's, are these are giving i'm i'm 68 i've just finished life yeah and i've gone romford market to have a little um, bottle when around. i asked my nan <laughs> nan do you have a pair of these she said no i bet she wish she does though <laughs> <laughs> well then she liked them she had to look at them for a while before she said yeah, yes and she, it was very high pitched but yeah. wish you can let that slide it's just, yeah, cool. You bought like a pair of Axel Arigatos that are nice, but. Yeah, I've got some nice shoes. We're going to do a shoe haul anyway. We are, yeah, but it, you, like four out of the six you bought are just like, mm. Mm. really good. Right, so what's your worst sex experience then? What the fuck? What? I didn't know where that conversation <laughs> was going to go, so I just decided to start a new one. Um. Angry Ginger, wow. Should we talk about your, your best mate? No. Let's talk about it. Uh, no about, beef. No, we were talking about it off camera a minute ago. Basically, Faith will unfollow everyone that she feels has like sort of wronged her. So for example- Yeah, but you, why is that a problem? Why must, no, why it, must people talk about me and then no, I it's go, not a problem. okay, great, I'll stay. It's just funny that your first go-to is to unfollow someone on social media. Like that's like, it's almost like your little jab. Like, well, fuck you. No, I don't think they're going to see it. I don't care. I'm just done with the situation. <laughs> so for example, one is Randolph. 
But you've, yeah, you've but he made said up. he said you're goated because a porn star sat on you. That's not fucking friendly fire, is it, Randy? <laughs> I've still got problems with that. Yeah, but you've made up since. Yeah, yeah, yeah we speak. Yeah, you clarified. Yeah, you cleared up, and yeah. you follow now or not? Uh, yes, yeah. because I think I meant to send out a birthday invite for you ages ago, and I couldn't send it to him. I no. remembered that I blocked him. <laughs> uh, another person you unfollowed is Hungry <laughs> Yeah, right. Because so context. So this podcast, now we bought rap like three times. You're giving fanboy on this situation. What? You are. So I don't think this situation's an issue, but we've been prodded to talk about it. So <laughs> essentially, Ginge reacted to a clip in our podcast at the end. We don't. Was necessarily... it a classic sad music one? I was don't it. Know. A... I tend to scroll now. I can't give a fuck. So when. Um, we was talking about, we, do you remember when we used to um, talk about other people's, they could send their problems in and we speak about them. Now it's been cut, obviously, to make it look like we're speaking about it, it relates to us, yeah. right? Because there's no context given. And in his sentence, when speaking, reacting about the clip, essentially he was saying I was wrong for it, obviously, because I was <laughs> the one speaking. And then he said, I don't know though, I could be out of context. And I was like, if you've verbalised that, do yeah. you think you should be reacting to it? Yeah. Because you are out of context. You've got a big following. And I don't need to be thrown under the fucking rug any more than I already am. Do you know what I mean? With all these yeah. out of context clips. I just don't feel like big creators, unless you know the whole situation... He shouldn't speak about it. Bro's dropping gems right now. No, but it's true. I wouldn't just start talking about Angry Ginge in a clip that I've seen for four seconds. Yeah, valid. Anyway, she unfollowed him. <laughs> well, yeah, because at that point, he's just uh, gone after all his followers that are yeah. men. Men already don't need no more help in getting egged on to give me shit. <laughs> yeah. Like Now I'm getting sent loads of stuff because you spoke about it on your clips. Yeah. And it wasn't even about us in the first place. So to me, it's just unnecessary <laughs> shit that I didn't need. Like, I liked him as well. <laughs> I did. I still do like him, but I just thought, oh, a bit... A bit peak, yeah. A bit peak, because he's verbalised, it might be out of context. And it was. Yeah, valid. Like, and I just young. hate it. Yeah, he's only young, but that's, what, that's why I didn't want to re-bring it back up. Ah. Him and Danny, they're only little kids, aren't they? Yeah, Danny's cool. Danny's really cute. Yeah, we keep saying he's he um, keeps acting like you're his older brother. Yeah, I I, I do feel he said on the podcast like I, I, like an uncle, but I don't know necessarily about an uncle. I'm not old enough to be an uncle. I feel like I'm the the old. He has an older brother, but yeah. I feel like I, I in the in this space I've sort of taken on that role. Like he just yeah. sends me everything before he does it, or like yeah, man, what do you think of this? Like whatever. Yeah, it's quite cute. Just got hand tattoo, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I see loads of people <laughs> people on Twitter that were like, um, yeah, Bazinga walked so Danny could run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, they, they're like the new school. He's hit. trying to glow up how you did. You got you got to rate it. Oh, he has glowed up, man. He's, he's big time yeah. glow up. I just couldn't believe how young he was. When he comes to do the stable date, it's only like 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's young, young. Makes me feel old. You're not old. You're still 24. Yeah, but remember I had a baby. I was you're 25 pregnant. this year. I That's was banger. pregnant at what, 21, 22? You're 20, oh, your car insurance is going to plummet this year. Fucking finally. Yeah, 25. It, it, Jack, it my car insurance yeah. is touching just under 5k. That's, yeah, five. That's like fucking be, learning to drive. I've had no claims, no nothing, mm. but because of the type of car. Wow. But then what do I do? Do I renew the insurance or do I buy another car? No, insurance nowadays is a fucking scam though. Like, no one wants to insure anything. That's the issue. Like, especially your type of car. Or do I just run with my banner saying, I'm 25, I'm 25? No, but Brilliant. yeah, 25 with the child, you should be all right. You should, you should go down quite a lot. Do you know what it is? It's our job. Yeah. Because uh, you can't put social media down as a job. And then when you're on the phone, they have an awfully hard time understanding, I work on Instagram. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can't really, but then because they think you're at home, they think you travel all the time. One, I hardly ever drive. I sit in your passenger seat. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Like I do not want to drive anywhere if I don't have to. <laughs> yeah. Apart from today, I drove because someone needs to put my playlist on. Well, no, you drove because I've got to go somewhere after. No, but you can still drive us in. You can drive my car. Uh, yeah. You're insured. Um, but when Ethan drives, I have to listen to his music and I just couldn't bother for that today. You literally asked me what I was listening to and put it on. Yeah, one song, so I liked it. Yeah. I forgot where I was going now. <laughs> we can just change the convo. <laughs> it probably it's won't. so easily anyway. derailed. Yeah. Uh, what should we talk about? There's been no football on. How have you enjoyed that? Because the, there's been, the, like, you've just... I haven't noticed, mate. I've been busy. Yeah. What I will say is, though, Ethan, in amongst being ill... Amongst. Whatever, amongst. however you say it. Amongst. Amongst. 
amongst amongst being ill still found the strength to play 90 minutes of football no, I, I ah, thought ah, I was ah, better ah, ah, ah. no so you didn't no you didn't the let's whole no you properly. didn't not at one point did you say oh, I feel better you was the night before Faith where's the blood nose spray <laughs> and then with fucking tissues hanging out your nose you didn't feel well. Went and played full 90 minutes of football. Now I feel worse. And Ethan, <laughs> I had the baby all day on Sunday, which is fine. Had her all day on Saturday. And then it gets to last night, it's Ethan's turn to clean the house out. You didn't fucking do it. Bro, I feel like I did do it. I tidied up, but I didn't clean. I, I, I put things away, but I didn't clean. I felt like shit, man. I got in late as well. <clears throat> it wasn't great. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. But anyway, I, well, let's preface this properly. I... I felt like shit. I thought I'd shaken the fever. So I thought, fuck it. We got a bear 11. I'm going to go. Instantly, a, a, a half time, I was like, this is the worst idea I've ever had. Played the rest of the match. And then instantly I said to, your dad comes and watches because two of his sons play in the team as well. Um, I, I, as soon as the game finished, I was like, yeah, I should not have done that. I feel like fucking ass. Yeah. And I, I think that's what, it's not me for six since then. Yeah. So I, I, I shouldn't have played. I even when I got home, I said to you, I was like, "Yeah, I was bad on it." Yeah, um, and now I feel worse. So yeah, yeah. yeah. eat some chicken with that waffle. Ha <laughs> really good. Mm. Oh, I tell you what, chicken I did eat yesterday. Uh, the new sides chocolate one. Well, promo. <laughs> yeah, finally I had it though. You yeah. should try it. Oh. We don't have no sides near us. We do. Uh, nearly. I feel like we should. Nearly. Uh, Lakeside. Lakeside, right? Lakeside is April. I think early April. Oh, nice. Um, uh, boom, am I going to get back card? Yeah. Am I? Yeah. See it when we launch those. Yeah. Yeah, I can have like, I think like 10 people. I but think. are your staff going to know how to use the black card? Because whenever we went Nando's, they had a real issue. Whenever you went, I've got black card. Yeah. They're like, I know what to I do I think this. so. So are they actually going to be like trained up? Yeah, I think so. I think so. It's a lot easier to sort of say, hello, if you just, like literally just say, if you see this card, it means it's one of the sidemen and whoever else. Sidemen wag. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I watched that. That was a, um, not Simon Wags, but a uh, Wag Pro program. On yeah, Prime. I put it on, Married to the Game. Yeah, that was yeah. actually quite good. I quite enjoyed a, that. Quite a good, interesting sort of thing. Mm. Uh, there was Jorginho and his wife. Yeah. Uh, there was Mares and his wife. Mm -hmm. There was James Tarkovsky and his wife. Mm -hmm. I think it's Tarkovsky, isn't it? That's how you actually say it. And his wife. And was that it? I don't know. I just watched it. I don't know any of them. Then that might have been it. But yeah, it covered like Mares' like move to Saudi and that. Yeah. Yeah, Mara's just moved to Saudi. She went out and she's now just like wagging in Saudi, mm. which is not a bad place to be wagging, I suppose. Mm -hmm. That's a... Do you know what though? I'm kind of glad we don't actually have to move for your job. Yeah. Because I don't yeah. Go like never here. Like, even when you do trips away, I don't have to come with here. No, the, boy, nice. the boys do. If really, if it was feasible, I think we would all uproot and go to Dubai. Really? Yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah. Me, Toby and Josh certainly would. I think I would live there. When I hit 40. I yeah. don't think so before then. The kids are grown up. Fuck them off. <laughs> and not bring them with us. Nah, I've seen a bit. Crack on. Crack on. And then find me chilling in a Dubai spa somewhere. Re relaxing. But I just don't get it. Like when people move away, how does that ever feel like home? No, it doesn't. I, I, I don't think it does. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it doesn't. Like yeah. even though the UK is so shit, it like is this home. is home. Yeah. Like, I just don't get how people move country and they're like, oh, yeah, no, like, I live here now. It's like, yeah. okay, but I'd be waiting for it to end. <laughs> yeah, it's valid. It's valid. I suppose you just got to break through, like, the... It depends, yeah, because most people will go, like, oh, I'm going to live here for five years or whatever. Mm -hmm. Not like, oh, I'm just permanently here. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, who knows? I'd always probably float back and in between. But who knows? Yeah, mm -hmm. I would, but Dubai's the place. Yeah. Couldn't live in America. I used to always think when I was growing up and sort of early years of YouTube thing, I was like, can't fucking wait, man. I'm going to move to LA. I went to LA for like a week and a half, two weeks. I was like, fucking let me leave. Yeah. Oh yeah. I do want to go though. Do you reckon I'd fit in in LA? Yeah, you would. You'd you reckon? Put, yeah, you reckon I'd like it. it? Yeah, you'd love it. I love selling Sunset. Like yeah. stuff like that. No, you'd like reality you'd, TV is my like, shit. Love, man. You love, you love that type of shit. Really? Yeah. Do you reckon I'd be like, you do. You love like fancy shit. Like you like showing off. In my like, defence, you, though, you have yeah. bought out that side of me. Fuck I off. Never had Fuck that off. before. Hey, we was driving past a bunch of fucking. This is a funny story. No, we was driving past. You sound like an idiot. We just, no, I'm not trying to make you sound like an idiot because you just. Was no, so... I know the conversation going to have about your car. No, we was driving in my Eurus, right? And it has different modes on it. it. Has sport mode, whatever. I drive it 
all the time in fucking normal. Faith likes it in sport where it gargles a bit. We're driving past like fucking 12 year olds, right? It's not. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, wait, let me finish. It's not to impress the kids. Let me finish. It's because they all go, wow, look at his car. And the mother <laughs> in me, the mother goes, babe, make it make the nice sound. Show the kids what they want to see. It's not a fucking so impress We're the driving kids. past the 12 year old. Don't make and it weird. I don't even realise that it's been flicked into that mode. I just hear it change. I'm like, I went, you just, have you just flexed on a bunch of 12 year olds? <laughs> she starts pissing herself and she was like, no, no. It's because like they probably like the car and the noise. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's they, cute though. They all it? think it's sick. That's cute. Look at me. But you doing do, stuff you for do the people. just flick it into that mode. Yeah, I do it when we're in underground car parks as well because it sounds cool. Yeah. So you, yeah, but you love that shit, man. You love a little show off or whatever. Yeah, I thought you meant me show off to begin with. So I'm glad we've clarified that. Well, we show off though. I'm not. I'm a shabby off. I never walk into a room and be like, look at me. If, I, if anything, I think, please don't fucking talk to me. Yeah, I'm, uh, I just want to exist in this room by myself. You'd like to do LA shit though. I would like to do LA shit, yeah. Yeah. But I just don't, still don't think I'd properly fit in. Because you said like Americans are all like, yo, so how are you? Like, oh, it's, it, it's, good like, dog? it's like, try it. This is so over the fucking top, man. It's so, uh, oh my God, man. That's fucking amazing. So like, oh my God. It's yeah, awesome. Uh, Awesome. Yeah, fucking awesome, man. Oh my God, I can't wait to see you again, bro. Yeah, man, fucking uh, I hope you're well, my dog. But then when they say, hope I see you again, are they actually hoping? Yeah. And they say, wow. They want to see you again in half an hour. So we'd be like, because <laughs> literally we'd be like, oh, we should catch up soon. And it's been five years. And um, and then you just resend that text saying we should catch up soon. And then ultimately someone dies. And then you go, oh, we should have yeah, catched man, up. Uh, yeah. I don't want to catch up. But do you just think we're all in this country socially in it? No, it's, 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 it's the classic thing. Like UK... America are really good for celebrating success and if you're successful people give you the flowers and they, they love that for you they're like oh that's fucking sick which is really nice Yeah, but it, there's also too much of it I like the fact there needs to be a happy medium because over here everyone as soon as you start doing well people like you trying to do well as soon as you have done well everyone fucking hates you yeah. and you're the biggest problem on planet earth yeah 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 but, <laughs> there needs to be a happy medium but because it keeps you grounded yeah like if JJ actually stayed in America when he just said he was going to stay, he'd be fucking unbearable. Do you reckon? But he has us a lot that say, you're a little neat, mate. Shut up. Yeah. No one cares. Yeah. So there's like a fine line. I like it, the... Uh, that is the thing, the bullying. What we classify as just banter. Oh, they would not would like they it. cry? Oh, you, you'd make people cry, yeah. Really? Oh, you'd make people... You've nearly made me cry. You make... When? Loads of times. Nearly makes you cry. I'm over exaggerating, but yeah, you're I was gonna like, say that's gonna make me look bad. Like, you, you, How? You, you just like yeah, you just you're not sensitive. <laughs> yeah, but I'm also not being hurtful. Yeah, no, you're it's not. It's funny. You're not. It, it, yeah, that's what bullies say. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to me. <laughs> I'm having fun. No, but I'm not Unlucky. bullying you. <laughs> Unlucky. I'm having fun now. <laughs> this is my. I'm having a chuckle. Listen, uh, I've grown up with three boys. My yeah. dynamic is very different. Yeah. Mine's like, it's just banter. Yeah. I've never actually been a bully in, in school. I was really quiet. Yeah. Completely under the rug. I'd never say anything about anyone else. But when it comes to family, yeah. open fire. Say what you want. Yeah, fair dues. Uh, yeah, so... You do it to me. I still get people commenting under my thing saying smelling roast dinners on a Sunday. Like, you don't have access to say that. Only, <laughs> Ethan, has, only Ethan has access to say that. Yeah. You're not funny. Yeah. You're actually unoriginal. Should we talk about another thing as well? Uh, Faith started like farting at me. Oh, like, brilliant. In my Wasn't face. Wasn't expecting like, that. Like, like, and j don't get me wrong, right? Love it. Amazing. I've been asking for it. But some of yeah, them... Right? Make it sound like a fucking sex fest. It Jesus Christ. Oh, nice. It's a sex... You... That get, I wouldn't makes want you your actually, whole name. No, actually, I wouldn't want you to fart on me in any sort of erotic way. That would be quite disturbing. Yeah. But last night, we're watching Rob Beckett and, uh, and Ramesh versus things. Bro, just like... Open leg, <laughs> straight pipe, straight to my fucking face. <laughs> Didn't make no noise though. No, they sound like pieces of paper tearing. Like, like yeah, they're the, cute. Yeah, and but there was one that sounded like a surprise come out at the end. No, it didn't. It was like, no, it didn't. Yeah, it did. No, I think you're saying things. Uh, you, you did one. I'm essentially, Ethan's been begging me to part for like two and a I half think years. That's a sign of like, and we are equals at this point. Even when I was sitting there, I had all my layers of my stomach cut open, just had to live. I still wouldn't fart in a room with you. No, you wouldn't, know. Like, literally, I just had all my belly cut open and I would still feel the pressure and not do it just because I didn't want to. So now I'm, I just think, fuck it. I'm letting them go. I just do it now. Yeah, but, there's but then also I have like, to make it funny because otherwise it's just yeah, awkward. You, you add style points on. Yeah, which you is add funny. style points onto it. I was laying in bed the other day like this, 
Faith was in the bathroom. She came out of the bathroom, 360 span, and <laughs> farted in my face. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. I don't. I feel like we could have bypassed this whole section. Really. It's just funny to talk about, though, isn't it? Like, yeah. I like it though because it means we're both as disgusting as each other. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. Yours are fucking violent. Yeah, mine are. I can let off. Yours some real make bad me ones. want to pick you up and put you outside the house. <laughs> like you belong down the stables at that point. You're uh, literally blowing yeah, off as loud as the horses. There, there is some bad it's a ones. Joke. Yeah, there is some bad ones. Uh, but yeah, yours are always violently loud. They basically but lift I the fucking that, sheets up I, and they sting. I think it's because I got a saggy bum, and you've you've highlighted that recently. That was bullying. You said that I got really saggy bum. Yeah, I've got saggy bum. That's not very nice. And and you had a blanket over you the other day. It was lovely, <laughs> lovely and figure hugging. Yeah, figure hugging. So that uh, put me off of myself <laughs> for a good couple of days. <laughs> Yeah, but you've made me conscious to breathe on people. So let's not, <laughs> let's not make it like this is one way. Because it's day. very much, he gives it as good as he gets it, by the <laughs> yeah, way. But, yeah, You've taught me that though, because when we first got with each other. Yeah, and how fun I was, is it? I would... <laughs> no, when we first get, got together, you was incredibly insecure and, and annoying. Sensitive, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you've now bred this <laughs> beast that will just do it. Anyway, Faith the other day was having her hair done. And obviously I've highlighted the fact that because her nose points yeah cheers. Uh, the nose jets they, they there's like a whirlwind but again so we're revisiting the point in school I was never ever ever bullied for my nose yeah therefore my nose shouldn't be a problem it's not in school that's the epitome of bullies if you've got something wrong with you school's going to tell you about it it's not, it's not wrong especially in England it's not wrong it's just funny like you're you, it just blows everywhere but I <clears> never <throat> like my nose has never changed because it shocked you guys I didn't make it this way a lot of people think I've got like surgery job, yeah. yeah but it is my nose yeah yeah, crack on. Anyway, like, favourites having her hair done or ma- what was it? Makeup, hair? Yeah, whatever. and I had to hold my breath because I didn't want to breathe on her. I the whole time in the chair holding my breath. Yeah, because like, she... That image to me is just fucking hilarious. You're sat there going... <coughs> yeah, because you've made me feel like I can't breathe. You've made me feel like I've got a really, really, really odd nose. The other day walking through the park as well, you sounded like a little hedgehog. Yeah. Like snuffling. Every the... point of your bullying comes down to my nose. Because <laughs> you... She, Faith doesn't like... There is so much to bully me for, yet you <laughs> revisit the same point. You won't breathe in and then like breathe out through your mouth like <sighs> you, you you're just walking along going <laughs> <laughs> like sounding like a little hedgehog in the woods going like <laughs> I was just breathing. But you found it funny anyway. Don't act like you just walk around. When I say these things, you giggle as well. You yeah, like giggle. it's funny, but then everyone hops onto it and you ain't funny. And <clears> you and you're funny. <laughs> and I'm funny. Yeah. Thanks. Uh yeah. Uh, what did we do? We went to Teenage Cancer Trust Comedy Night. Yeah. That was actually really fucking funny. Yeah, that was good. That was really funny. We saw Kevin Bridges was the host. Mm-hmm. He was great. We saw... He was really good. Yeah, we saw Rob Beckett. We saw... Uh, there was loads fucking there. Uh, but it, it, beforehand, I got handed a Teenage Cancer Trust uh, little award, icon award. Yeah. The very first one that they've ever given out of those, which yeah. is mental. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then I said you should get knighted to the woman and then she basically said she'll think about it. Yeah, so it's not knighted, but if you get an OBE, that's all because of me. It, it, she said she asked if I was ever interested in being an MBE or OBE, which is quite fucking mental. I said, relax, let me achieve a lot more first. But just know, I put your foot in yeah. that door. I was like, let me achieve a lot more first. Let me do a lot more for the charity and stuff like that and, and hopefully have a bigger impact. Mm. But who knows? Uh, it, 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 by the way, I would rinse it. it I'd, every group chat, I'd ask to be renamed Ethan Payne OBE. Yeah. I'd proper rinse it, mate. I'd, it'd be it's so fucking do you funny. Do reckon it feels like getting your Duke of Edinburgh? I think a bit more than that. I was meant to do that. I so wait, MBE now. is member of the British Empire, isn't it? And then OBE is... I don't know what OBE is. What does OBE stand for? Officer, uh, officer of the uh, officer of the order of the British Empire. You ain't gonna do that, then. I don't think I'm an officer. I could be a member though. Mm. I could be MBE. Yeah. Yeah. Just let me cook more. Let me do some more sh- cool shit. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we went to that. Uh, we, was, we took your family. We took we your did. dad, your yeah. brothers. My brother and his new missus. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got he's got missus. Little yeah. young age chaos now. He has got missus. Crazy man. Mm. And there was the new blue XX vodka there. They and drunk, he chored it. They drunk, well, no, they chored an empty bottle. They drank the whole thing and then took the empty bottle. Home. It I'm is like, funny because they're still fans. But it's I don't know if they're not know if really a fan of you. No, his missus didn't know who any no, of exactly, us was. That's what I'm saying. But HK is. It's so funny. Like he can just, he texted me the other day going like, because he's got his own money now. He was like, is your cereal actually worth two pound before I buy it? Cause like, yeah. and I went, yeah, I think it's tasty. He was like, of course you're going to say that, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Um, so that made me laugh. But then like I get sent boxes and boxes of my own stuff, all yeah. like drinks. And I was like, you don't have to chill the bottle. Like just take it from the house. Yeah, yeah. So he come around Sunday after football. They're like cool memorabilia, aren't they? Yeah. And took a load of the blue vodka and cereal. So mm. yeah, it's funny though. Yeah. But that Teenage Cancer Trust night, Reeve was there. He was there. Uh, Matt Does Fitness. Matt Does Fitness was there with GK his missus. G.K. Barry. G.K. Barry was there. Uh, Chev Clark, a boxer, was there. Mm-hmm. Uh, who could potentially fight Vidal soon. Oh, that's cool. Vidal's fighting this week. Oh, really? Yeah, for the British title. So nice. he he's currently the English champion. Okay. And he's fighting for the British one. Love that. And now it's like one step before then actually going like international. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, hopefully he batters him. Yeah. It'll be a really good fight. Uh, and yeah, looking forward to that. What else is going on? A Misfits event happened. Mm. Uh, it got swatted. Oh yeah, you tell me about that. Yeah, really. I've not seen no clips of that though. Yeah, it's just so it, it's fake su- news. It's such a no. It did happen. It's is there clips? Ameri- huh? Is there clips? Yeah, of it? I have to it, the whole. It, it's, we had Luke Littler on the podcast yesterday, uh, sidecast. Uh, we were talking about it there because he was like, "Yeah, I was watching it," and everyone was just leaving because it got evacuated. Basically, swatting in America is this weird fucking phenomenon that people do, where like they ring bomb squad police and say, "Hello, there's a bomb at this location." They're literally about to set it off, so they send all the fucking armed trucks there and have to evacuate and check every nook and cranny. So they did that to the event, um, but it was just a shit show anyway. The main event pulled out as he was meant to walk. Mm. It was meant to be like a two versus one thing. He just sat it off, so then it was just like a normal fight. Um, yeah, man. I think they're going to change Misfits to only feature like premium, the premium people. I thought you meant they was going to put the word only in front of it. Only Misfits? Yeah. What? Clickbait it. No. I don't know. Uh, I was partially listening. It's great. Sorry. Cheers. Uh, my brain kind of just... Uh, what do you think of the England kit? I don't know. Why, why the fuck would I have seen that, Ethan? Because it's kicked right off. I've been right busy it's looking after right our little one. Thank you. It's kicked right off, by the way. Oh, well, you can show me the England kit if it's It's really. I really off. like the England kit. Yeah, but I do you know, lovely. sidetracking, I had a thought yesterday, when I'm at home with Olive, yeah. I'm going to be unreachable for like at least the morning. Why? But my my phone just fucks me off. I really do not like, like actually having a phone. Yeah. I just think it's so fucking consuming, genuinely. And I don't even overuse socials. One, like grateful for the, for the yeah. followers and that, because it makes my right. too. Okay, so, yeah, cheers, back uh, to football, brilliant. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, go on. No, yeah, carry on. Yeah. No, that's no, right. Finish, finish. Invite the England squad. I'll just sit the next no, finish, one out. Finish. No, go on. Finish. Don't worry. Finish. No, that's right. I've lost where I am now anyways. Oh, right. Sure. Uh, you can put the pictures up of the kit on the screen, right? Harry All Kane, right, mate. So just take my seat. These are just the England kit, Yeah, it's right? fucking blue, mate. Okay, but on the back, they've they've updated the St. George's Cross. Right. What do you think about that? Didn't know what it looked like before, mate. Just looks like it a cross. Just like red cross, white background. Brilliant. Uh, they said a playful update on the St. George's Cross to appear on the collar to unite and inspire. Boy, oh boy, did that ruffle Millwall Dave. Yeah. Millwall Dave was not, and Joey Barton. All oh, right. They, yeah, all of them uh, did not did not like it. Right. Um, it's kicked right off. So what do you think about it? It's a fucking shirt, mate. Yeah, exactly. It's not actually changed the official flag, has it? No. I didn't even know where it was not that deep. No, it's, yeah, it's actually a nice And the kit. shirt's fucking shit. It's got nothing on it. Yeah. And it's just also, a blue top. Yeah, it's great. Distracting They've literally... Because the fucking kit, uh, the, the kit is £125. Mm. For the actual... You can get a replica for 80 mm. but and that's still just not the proper material. The proper material is 125 quid. Yeah, you can probably get that off Alibaba. Oh, the edge gate. Mm. The edge gate will, will sort everyone out. Mm. Really good. Um... What else happened? Uh, we uh, England, they've literally just England gone. Can Brazil. I get? They literally just have gone. Can I get a shirt that's all already there for print and demand, please? <laughs> just make it blue. Don't add nothing to it. No, they've added. Keep the cost low. Added some blue stuff. shirt. Changed the fucking cross. It's like the supplier went. Oh, I don't actually have the white color. All right, mate. Fucking change it. No, they've got a white one and a bl- and a blue one. Wait, no, I meant the cross. Here. All right, but I don't know what you're saying. Anyway, uh, uh, uh. Uh, fuck I was going to say something then probably back to football again yeah we lost to Brazil yeah great yeah that. we lost to Brazil uh, Paqueta was like one of the best players on the pitch mm-hmm. you know who he is right mm-hmm. uh, West Ham's record signing I announced him <laughs> it's just what I do mm. uh, <laughs> it's, you know Mr. West Ham I'm joking Mark Noble is there oh Mark Noble funny one uh, all the boys are playing Padel is that how you say it apparently Paddle, Paddle. Oh. but it's not Paddle though is it it's not paddle. If you was, if I was to type paddle, I would type P A D D L E. I think it's because it's it started in Spain, right? Yeah. yeah. I think it's padel. You want to go play padel? 
I think it's Padel. So Padel with a fucking accent then? Padel. Paddle. Paddle. Okay, Padel, Paddle. Mm. I reckon the Spanish say Padel. Obviously, they're Spanish. You want the game of Padel. Yep. Anyway, uh, the boys play at the minute, like every week in Canary Wharf, and apparently Mark was always there early doors playing Padel. So yeah, that's quite cool. I haven't played paddle yet, but I, I've I've sacked off the trying sports that the boys play because the golf thing has scarred me mm-hmm. really bad. Yeah. Why are you not talking properly? No, brilliant. That's fantastic. You're what? just talking about stuff that I just don't really know about. What do you want to talk about? One, I don't know who paddle is. Two, I don't go and play football <laughs> with the boys. Paddle is. <laughs> like, I don't know where Mark Noble's really going he's just going Canary Wolf he's just baited can- Mark Noble's in Canary Wolf every oh, true, weekend I've done that, yeah. so now Mark yeah. Noble's not going to be able to enjoy his sweet little pleasure <laughs> so where do you want me to go from this do you want me to sit and talk about horses I'll and horse riders location. no 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 no. keep it in because I've just had a smarts and you didn't yeah well done yeah. yeah if they've made it this fucking far in the podcast well done yeah good job <laughs> uh, I see we added timestamps what good. did you want to talk about no let's talk about John Whisker and his horses then come on and then let's get you to engage and respond. I, I actually come and watched your fucking shindig with John Whitaker and that. I he come did. and enjoyed it. And then you said, when's it going to end? Oh, mate. It you was said, was so it not good. over yet? Yeah, because uh, like a, a football match in 90 minutes, mate. That's all you got to put up with. This shit, we left the house. We sat in our fucking seats for ages. You're lucky there was pick and mix because if there was not pick and mix. You made me buy that as well. Even the woman was like, are you not going to pay for it? Yeah, fuck no. This F- yeah, she was like, I thought you was rich. No, and I was at no, Paris, no, sis. You, no, you took me here. This is you. Yeah, he makes me pay actually a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Does no, it all I the time. don't. I'm going to start, but if you want to start that game, then we'll start that game. You asked me you to pay You can pay the, for the um, dog, the council tax, the council fucking tax, electric, so keeps the, ask, bit, the gas, you can do it all then. He asking me to pay for the council tax, which is more than the mortgage. I'd rather pay the mortgage. I'll believe him, I'm guessing. I will. I'd rather pay that than, um, when, than the council John tax. John Wicker is, a, is one of the most famous horse people. They own a horse brand <laughs> called like Wicker or something. I don't know, don't they? Yeah, his literal good. name. Like John helmets Whitaker. and that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's cool. Uh, he was good. He didn't win though. No. Uh, he didn't win. There was a young young buck from Ireland. Was it Ireland that won? Uh, he was good. Yeah, can't remember he his name. Good. Ginger though. Yeah, Ginger Man. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, that was good. Uh, the dogs were the most exciting thing. Yeah. On that day. Oh, what do you think? Sidemen crafts. I'm asking the people here well, in the we, comments. Let us know because I've been begging. Well, not Ethan not for everyone has so a dog. Long. Not everyone has yeah, a dog. Yeah, but we like the Robert We now Ramesh have thing. three. And Simon has two. Oh, that's, that's what I was fucking saying when I was talking about the teenage Just Cup use everyone else's dogs. Was, uh, Rob Beckett fucking loves us, apparently. Yeah. Rob Beckett watches this. Yeah. Rob Beckett tunes into this. Yeah, he it. come up to me and he went, you're right, Faithful. I'm Rob. Nice to meet you. Love your arguments on your podcast. <laughs> I went, you're not meant to open with that. When he was speaking to me, he was like, mate, fucking love tuning into your clips. He was like, it's so fucking funny. And he was like, do you know what's so funny though? It's because you're the first one out of like them lot to have kids. Them lot don't fucking get it. He was like, yeah. it's amazing. I love it. Yeah. Um, so Rob Beckett watches this. So Rob Beckett, if you see this, then thank you because Faith was gassed. Yeah. Faith was like, Yay. It's just funny when people, like, you, they know, you know who they are. Yeah. But he still introduced himself. Yeah. He's like, hi, I'm Rob. And I'm like, yeah. I know. Um, <laughs> and then it, what was I talking about? Anyway, so Rob and Ramesh done a, in their series, did Crufts with their own dogs, which was very cool. Yeah, so it now you've funny. seen it. It was funny. But I've been saying long before this to do, this to do it. Dog. It's only funny to do with your own dog. Like, me doing it with Rolo would be fucking hilarious. Yeah. Or it's cheating if I do it with the new one. If I do it with Dave, it's cheating. Yeah. Because Dave will just fucking do it. Yeah. Rolo, it would be fucking hilarious. I don't but know, though. Simon's got... Mo- Imagine Mooshu doing it. Yeah. Fucking hilarious. Vic trying to control Ralph. Fucking This hilarious. is what I mean. There's enough dogs to be able to just assign a dog. Well, I'll give Hades to Josh because they're both the same age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give Hades to Josh. No, you should give Hades to JJ. That would be hilarious. Don't let him shout it though. Otherwise, JJ you would be in my bad them. books. No, don't shout at my Hades. You have to shout at them to do it, don't you? You have to, you have to go, yeah, 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 through there, through there. No, I mean like that. Damn. He'll be like, this fucking dog isn't doing anything. Ginger fuck ain't yeah. moving. <laughs> yeah, we literally won't move. Um, yeah, it, it, the concept is potentially funny. It'll be better you, than like the a, video you're doing tonight. Thank you very much. Basically, yeah, we're filming something that is revolutionary <laughs> on the Sidemen channel. So keep your eyes peeled because this is going to change again. Anyway, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Growing Pains podcast. I think we did quite well. I considering. think considering we didn't have a talk sheet, we've done pretty good. We've done pretty well. So remember, subscribe, like the video. If you want to consume Growing Pains in a shorter format, then make sure to subscribe to Growing Pains Clips. That's where you can find all the fun stuff. 
And also follow us on Instagram, Growing Pains Insta, where you'll find cool exclusive pictures on our carousels every week. Yeah. That's great. And remember, on audio platforms, please follow, rate five stars, like it, do all of that, and have a great week. Bye. See you later.